welcome back to another adventure. And today we have reservations at Jaleo by Jose Andres. This is our first time dining at this particular restaurant. We are super excited to try out all the tapas. Jose Andres does definitely bring some flavors from Spain with his traditional cutting edge tapas. So we're gonna find out and uh, we're excited to try everything or some of what's on the menu. You're all invited to dinner, a Spanish dinner. Vamos! Right inside the restaurant, they do have the menu right here posted here for Aleo. You got your buen, uh, your buen provecho here. These are the different types of items with the pricing. And cure meats. <laughs> cure meats. The quesos, quesos cheese. Meats. We have the drinks sangria, here. Cocktails, cocktails, gins and tonics, wines by the glass, pricing on that. Right above it, postres with the desserts, as you can see here. Paella. You got your fish and your seafood. You see your seafood. Your sandwiches. Sandwiches. Jose's way. <laughs> Verduras. Salad. Vegetables. And then vegetables and then fried items. All right here, right outside Haleo, so you get to know exactly where you're gonna get into, right? Yeah, there's so much in that menu that is hard to pick, and this is why we're we're possibly thinking of doing the tasting menu if we can. <laughs> so we're inside this beautiful restaurant, and it's like fantastic in here. The color scheming and you have an open kitchen here that you can see all the food coming out you have a beautiful bar so everything is beautiful in here so we're just waiting on our cocktail so i did order a margarita so this margarita is special so apparently this margarita that i'm gonna have is called the salt air margarita yeah salt and air salt and air yeah. and it was inspired the chef got inspired um, apparently when you go to the beach, when the surf hits the sand, it usually gets this little foamy the salt. Foamy water, yeah. Foamy salt water. So that's what we're going to see supposedly on the margarita drink. So I'm excited to see that. And I got a uh, mojito. And Paul got a mojito. So let's see how that tastes. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, I like my mojitos here. So other yeah. than beers, mojitos like my, one of my favorite yeah, drinks. Yeah, surprising that's one of his favorites. <laughs> Jose Andres, he's a very 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 well known chef around the world all his food is traditionally from his home of spain he does have he does do a lot of humanitarian work so the last humanitarian work that i read about that he did was for the hurricane maria in puerto rico where he actually helped and he brought uh, thousands of uh Puerto Ricans nice meals during the hurricane disaster oh, wow, that's so great. that's awesome it was awesome I know he's an awesome chef and I know that this food is gonna be amazing <laughs> this restaurant is well known for their famous paellas so every once in a while we're gonna hear a cowbell and they're gonna yell out paella <laughs> <laughs> So it's a lot of fun in here and we already got our drinks and cheers cheers Ooh, that it looks so good my salt and air margarita. margarita and look it is just like yeah like they said yeah the sea foam like the little sea foam that you will see on the beach margarita how cheers. interesting <laughs> cheers oh yeah and you get the salt of the bubbles is all salty and Wow, this is like the best margarita I've ever had in my life. I'm sort of sick. <laughs> it's like the salt is inside already with the foam and you get all the flavors together, the tequila and everything. Oh, wow. Really good. You recommend getting it? Definitely, guys. I highly recommend it. Is it a dangerous like, drink? It is another <laughs> dangerous drink. Oh my God, we're definitely adding this into the dangerous drink. This is incredible. And I have here the classic mojito here. Cheers. Mmm, nice. Nice and minty. You can taste the rum in there. Very sparkly as you can see here. Wow, look at that. Lime mojito, you can see the garnish inside oh, the limes in and there. I love the color. And all the mint in there. Really Beautiful. good. 
Wow, I love mojitos. If you like mojitos, you're gonna like this one. It's delicious. So here we go, guys. We are going to con to try the Haleo Experience, which with the Haleo Experience is a tasting menu that you get a certain amount of tapas, but it's it's a lot of food. So we're gonna see how much we can eat. But you get to try all the different flavors that they offer here. It's wonderful. Here you have your crystal bread all the way from Barcelona, Spain. It wow. does have your air pockets inside of it, meant yeah, to that. absorb very well your tomate fresca. Right there you have your manchego cheese on top and your palete iberico, nice. which is the shoulder cup from the acorn fed pit all the way from Spain, pata negra. Ooh, right wow. here you have your liquid olives, which is a one bite type deal. Wow. It has your olive oil all the way infused inside of it with a little bit of orange flakes on top as well. This is your cono de queso, which has wow. your cava cabra goat cheese inside of it with a little bit of membrane, which tastes a little bit like guava and Ooh. walnut dust on top as well. Wow. And this is your cono de samor, which beautiful. has your salmon tartar and some chow eggs on top. Wow, wow. that is awesome. beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> we will enjoy. Uh, this is our gazpacho. This is our beet soup. Beet soup, gazpacho? So okay. gazpacho, beet soup. Right. We also have your cebolla asada. Oh, cebolla asada. Onions, onions, and blue cheese and pine nuts on top. Wow. Oh, wow. right there. So yeah. we get one shot each. One shot each. We also have here our indivias. These are our endives oh with oranges, goat cheese, and almonds on top. Oh wow, endives. Oh, wow. And last but certainly not least, we have here our ensalada manzana monchego. This is our fennel salad with apples and monchego cheese. Oh awesome. wow, awesome. Wow, lots of food so here. Lots of food here. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, so I'm gonna try this tomato. Red with the tomato crisp with the manchengo cheese. Let's see. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. Good. Mm. Yeah, that, not compared to the one with the. With the lamb. Let's here. see this one with the. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> So compare, which one do you like better? The one with the, with the meat or with the cheese on top? The lamb? Mm. The lamb one is good. This <laughs> looks so good. I'm gonna cut into it right now. Oh, it's so soft too. Wow. As you can see here, I got the piece of the onion with the, with the cheese here. Oh, that looks really, really yeah. good. Look at that, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, looks Cheers. Like it's gonna melt. <laughs> Mmm. Wow, the onion with the goat cheese goes real well together. It is cold. It's more. It's it's it is um, asado, roasted, but it, it is a cold dish. But if you like onions, definitely I would recommend this. Really good. Wow. Oh, look at that olive. Look at the olive. Drop, oh my right? God, this is interesting. It's so tastes. fancy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is an olive drop. I know Paul's not very into olives, but I heard this is fantastic. So let's try it and see. Wow. Wow, babe. This is interesting. It's an olive oil flavor, but you get like a little zest of orange in there. Oh, okay. With, when it pops, it like bursts in your mouth. And you get that little olive -y, light olive flavor, but it's just perfect. You're gonna like it. Now Paul's turn to try. I don't like olives, but going on based on Magnus' recommendation, it's good. So. And look at how good that looks. Yeah. It's different. Mm -hmm. Cheers. It's, you know what though? It's actually better than a regular olive, in my opinion. There's a lot more like oil, oily in it. It's olive oil. But the, the taste of olive is not as strong. It's, it's like very soft and it popped very in my mouth. It's light. Isn't it not wonderful? Bad. Not bad. I, did, I, like th I like this version of olive than just the regular olive. So, but nice. it's really good. And Paul's going to try the endivas. So this is a, a, pineapple, like a right? lettuce wrap, Lettuce. Pineapple, goat cheese. Um, goat cheese. And it looks like it has almonds. some uh, almonds on yeah. top. So it looks delicious. Like a little wrap there. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, you can taste the lettuce, the goat cheese, the shavings of the almonds yeah, on there. Yeah, look at that. Show it up close. Yeah, again. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that looks delicious. Very light snack, 
with, with you know if you like wraps with the cheese and the little chives there it's really good a good I'm surprised a with good this. mixture huh? These are, mm. <laughs> Correction, I think I said pineapple, it's actually uh, orange slices. Alright, let's see. Orange. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so refreshing! Really good. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything so far is fantastic. They've tried these cones here. They're gonna try the salmon one here. As you can see, Ooh. salmon right on top there. So Look at the caviar, let's right? See. It looks like little salmon eggs. Yeah, it looks so pretty. Let's see. I'm not really into caviar, but let's see. It looks like caviar, but it's salmon, so. Mmm. Wow. Fantastic. Mmm. Is it really fishy or no? Not at all. In the beginning, you get like the little bit of, like the little, a little bit of fishy flavor, but then it kind of like lights down. It is so good. If you like fish, you'll definitely like this. It's so good, delicious. Paul's gonna try the other one. The non-fish one. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. Oh. Oh. He said there's a little hint of guava in it, and I taste it. Wow. Yeah, there I is guava up. in there. The sweet yam. Yeah. Oh my god. You like that? I don't know how the salmon tastes. I'm not fish, but. Now, like the fish. salmon one tastes good too, you should try it. Well, if it tasted like this, it tasted like awesome. that. <laughs> Has like uh, walnuts in yeah. there. Wow, it's incredible. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, it's vinegary. Oh, you like vinegary, yeah. The cheese is, oh my god, I'm tasting it now. <laughs> so god. far, a great start, right? To like Kaleo experience. So far, everything we've had that we're having right now, and it's a lot of food, and we still got more coming. Still more coming. <laughs> Fantastic. This cheese, this gold cheese, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Did I say funnel? Actually, it's fennel salad. Fennel not salad. Funnel. <laughs> We're having funnel right now. Yeah, it's so good. And now Magnus gonna try the gazpacho salad. Gazpacho beets. Stop. Yeah, I love beets, so that should And I good. love gazpacho. Paul's not into gazpacho, but I am. But let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. delicious yeah is it spicy at all or anything like that no right no spicy it kind of tasted like a tomato soup yeah that you're drinking but it's a little sweet because of the beet yeah but it's gazpacho but beet with the beet inside yeah. really good, huh? so good wow chicken croquetas which is your shredded and blended chicken Bread it up so it does have that creamy texture on the inside and crunchy on the outside. Oh wow. It definitely it does look like Cinderella. Cinderella yeah. This is the patata bravas, also known oh, in wow. Spain as the mother of all tapas, originally from Madrid, Spain. You have your steamed and fried potatoes on a bed of brava sauce with some garlic aioli on top. Ooh, wow. Really good. And these okay. are you and these are your pequillo pimientos, oh, which wow. are actually cooked in a style that's called confin. They actually cook these peppers for six hours at a low temperature. With the broth that it makes, they sit there and blend the pequillo peppers and make the sauce that's on the bottom. Wow, wow. thank you. Oh, thank you. It looks really good. Thank you. Ooh, can't wait to enjoy wow, this. Wow, look at this. <laughs> oh my God, this is incredible. And I got a little story for you guys, a little fun fact. So the reason why that Jose Andres restaurant here has the croquetas here in this little pillow instead of a shoe like in his other restaurants is because Disney owns and you know that owns Cinderella so instead of putting it in the shoe they decided hey we're okay to put it in the pillow but not in a Cinderella shoe. So I'm gonna have Magrish try the croquetas because croquetas come from Cuba yeah. and also from other Actually, croquetas are actually known from, from Spain. Spain. 
but it was since there's Spanish culture also in Cuba, um, in Cuba we do the ham croquetas, yes, which is right. the croquettes with ham inside. These apparently have chicken, so Ooh. and it looks so good and puffy. I can't wait to try this. Let's grab one off the pillow. There. I'm not even gonna take a fork. I'm just gonna <laughs> take it here. Look at this. It's so fat and juicy. Yeah, nice and fried here. Look at this. Okay, wow. Let's taste it. I heard it tastes like a pot pie. Let's see if that's true. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. How are they compared to your the ham croquetas in Cuba? This is delicious. This is compared to our uh, ham croquetas. I love the ham croquetas, but this is a new take. The chicken exactly. one, look at the inside. Wow, yeah. It is Pure full chicken, of yeah. chicken. Mm. Ooh, and cheesy. <laughs> cheesy, flavorful, and it does taste like a pot pie. So if you guys like pot pie, you'll love this. You'll enjoy this. Wow, Magnus was in line. These croquetas are delicious. Wow. Mm. I was going to try the potatoes with aioli. aioli mayo. That looks so good. You can see the seasoning on these potatoes. Wow, this looks so good. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got to say wow. Mag toxic definitely. <laughs> wow, that aioli mayonnaise with the roasted potatoes? Oh my god. These are the best potatoes I've ever eaten. I'm, for real, I'm not lying on this. Wow. I don't know how many times I can say wow, but it's so good. <laughs> Very good. It's so good and it's crispy, the potatoes and the is aioli. It's soft inside. Soft inside. Oh, this it's, melts. It's divine. <laughs> and I'm gonna try, let me grab it from try here. Yeah, the roasted see. peppers here. Oh, oh that's good. My goodness. Look at the coloring my... on that too. Yeah. Wow, pepper. I love red pepper and I use a lot of the red peppers to cook. I know this is a different kind of red pepper, but it is, look at this. Wow, it's so soft, you can cut it with the fork. <laughs> yeah, let's just, look at this, let's see. Oh my God. Mm, mm, it has cheese, goat cheese inside. Yeah, goat cheese inside, wow, it's like a stuff. Wow. Oh wow, oh my God. Wow, look at look this, at this. Mm. You can see the cheese oh. coming up. And it smells so delicious. It comes with a side of a glass of red sauce. Oh, of red thank, you. thank you very much. Wow, baby, look at this. Oh my God, this is cooking. And guys, look, look uh, at me. I can smell it. I wish it, I could have you guys smell it through the smell camera. Smell through the camera <laughs> because it smells like heaven. Oh. It's like so yummy and garlicky and oh, look at that. And look at this bread. Came with a little side of bread there. This bread is incredible. So this, I guess you can dip it in there. Oh my God. But the garlic, that smells delicious. The shrimp looks excellent. Excellent. I'm gonna oh. take one of these shrimps. Wow. Look at the piece of garlic and everything. And you know, I'm not used there. to seeing the whole shrimp. Yeah, this one does come with, with the, the whole face. eyes oh, and everything. Kind of sad. <laughs> I'm used to seeing the tail, but hey, it looks good though. Okay, so let's, let's do it like this. Okay, cut the little tail. I'm just gonna cut the little... A little head here. We don't want the head. And the paticas, the little, the little legs, legs yeah, we call here. Paticas. There you go. So now let's go ahead and fry that shrimp. Wow, look, I'm gonna get this little piece of like garlic there. Wow, that looks so good. Mm. <laughs> this is so good, guys. It's so buttery and garlicky. It is Amazing. Here you go, baby. All right, she wants I'm me to feeding try. my babes here. The shrimp. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. How is that? And we both love shrimp. It tastes kind of like almost sweet, almost, right? Yeah, like, like a sweet, sweet taste? shrimp with a buttery flavor. Oh, the man. Garlic. From now on, I'm going to eat shrimp. And it's nice and hot. From now on, I'm going to eat the shrimp fully cooked <laughs> with it's the head and good. everything. Excellent. <laughs> We got the spinach here. Thank you. Thank wow, you. the spinach, spinach uh, salad here. It looks really good. And now we're gonna try the spinach. spinach salad. Wow, that looks so good. Wow, let's oh get a little bit God. here. Look at this. Look at all the, Look raisins, at all the and raisins and nuts in there. And nuts. Oh, that looks so good. And it's oh. kind of a, like a warm spinach salad. Yeah, it's warm. It's not cold. Yeah. Oh, wow, this looks fantastic. And it's all like moist looking. Oh. 
How is it? <laughs> Doesn't taste like any spinach I've ever eaten. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! Mango's got a second drink here. She, she, this is called the Agua de Sevilla. And this it comes with bourbon, cava, pineapple, sage, and orange bitters there. Oh, it looks wow. similar to the margarita. It kind of looks similar to the margarita, but it's a complete, totally, it's a bourbon drink. So. See how it tastes. Uh, we, took, I, we took the advice from the server on this one. Cheers. Bing! Bing. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's better than the margarita. Oh, actually, I think I like this one even better. Wow. This one is more sweeter. The margarita is more salty, but this one is more sweeter. So if you like margarita, I recommend the margarita, a salt air margarita. And then if you like sweet stuff, I definitely recommend this one with a bourbon. It is so good. And look at the color. It's incredible. <laughs> oh, I love it. And here we have the carne asada. As you can see Wait, here. The sweet potato, uh, sweet potatoes, sorry. I'm thinking about the potatoes. They were so sweet good. peppers, yeah. Sweet peppers. Sweet potatoes would be nice though. <laughs> yeah, sweet red peppers. As you can see, it's cooked to medium. Now we, uh, we like our meat we, uh, well done or medium well. But let's see, it is medium, so let's see, let's see how red it is. But well, it looks tender, so. It looks good wow, still. Wow, it looks so juicy. It's so delicious. Right. Try it. See how it tastes. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> wow. Super tender, super moist. <clears throat> I've had, have you seen the prior um, blog of uh, Acetricos? I had it medium well. Now it's kind of like medium to medium well. Still good, juicy. Flavorful and with the sweet peppers along along the side with the with the steak here. Oh wow! Look at that sweet pepper, red pepper. Mm. Sweet wow. Spanish red pepper. But these are Spanish wow, they're so red sweet. Pepper. Yeah, delicious. Goes well with the steak. Definitely, if you like carne asada and if you like your meat medium, you know. I wish they would have asked us though to say how how the meat was gonna be cooked. But you know what? It's not bad. It's a little pink for me. The reason why they don't ask you because it's the Spanish style. But it is good. It's cooked so and it's, and it's moist. asada. So asada is always like medium well. Really good though. Excellent. For our first time experience and, you know, having a tasting menu, I think that was the best choice we made for yeah. this particular restaurant. For At least for our first time. <laughs> they do have other... Um, you, you don't have to get the tasting uh, menu or the tasting experience, um, but we wanted to do that since it's our first time, but it's incredible. Papa 23, it's actually a Solera system rum. They got that from back in the day. They used to be colonized Guatemala by Spain, oh. and they make a lot of cherries by doing that Solera system. Sorry that the battery could cut off while he was mentioning about the, uh, the rum that was used in the mojito. So it's the best mojito I've, I've tasted. That mojito is made up of uh, uh, the rum that he showed. It was made up of three different types of bourbons, right? Mm -hmm. A whiskey yeah. mixed in to make that to make that rum. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he said it. It will go well with like uh, like old fashioned. Like old fashioned. Yeah. And it's called uh, Zapata, Zacapa. Zapata. Zacapa yeah. 23. Yeah. So that's it's the rum. Really good. So good. Definitely recommend. You like mojitos? That rum's the best. <laughs> wow. The traditional Delicious. flan here. Nice. Oh, we get two desserts. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Let me get this on my phone. Sorry. <laughs> this is too good. Okay. There we go. Wow, look at that drizzle on there. Woo! Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, and that dessert oh, has wow. arrived. I thought we only had one dessert, but we got two. Let's go ahead and... you, it's a lot of food. Let's dive into it. <laughs> let, let's do it. Yeah, wow, this looks incredible. So, yeah, I don't this know where is to start. Chocolate with bread, chocolate bread, but it, on the top here, is it actually a, is it a piece of toast? It's a toast. So let's try let me it out. see. Let's oh see. my gosh. Oh, let me let me try this with the all together here. Oh. Oh my god. So it is a piece of, is it a, yeah. It's a toast, and what they do, they put like a little syrup on top Sorry, of it, which it was, it was poured. Oh, okay. Wow. Kind of tastes like cereal. <laughs> really good it's though, so right? It's so good. Yeah, 
and meaty. refreshing and cold. And if you like chocolate, you definitely like that, right? Yeah, delicious. <laughs> and Paul's having the traditional flan. It looks so good. Look at that. Now this is the one in Citricos. You guys watched that blog. That one was kind of like a square. It was their take of a flan, but this is more of a traditional flan yeah, this from is Spain the and from Latin America. So, yeah, so this, this is, is what I'm used to. This is Hispanic flan, yes. which is more, it kind of tastes like a custard. Like a custard, yes, exactly. With the, and the syrup you see is mm -hmm. melted sugar. And you can see there, look how good that look looks. Look at that, wow, and it's all nice and soft. It looks like it has whipped cream on there, mm -hmm. with the oranges on the side. Right there. You know what, let me get an orange on there too. It Why not? Like, I think it's a tangerine. Tangerine, yeah. Cheers. Incredible, no? That's the fun I know. <laughs> <laughs> so delicious. Good. Delicious, delicious. You love flan? Very traditional. I love it. I'm old school Latino. And flan is like one of my favorite uh, desserts here. It is so good. Mm. And Magda's got here the, a drink to go along with her dessert. It's called yeah. a carajillo. Oh, we're gonna share it, babe. Yeah, the carajillo is. This a, is called carajillo. It's an espresso mixed with liqueur 23 or 43. Yes, uh, I think 23. Yeah. He said 43 or 23. He said this was something that was brought from Spain, and then the Cubans took it over. Yeah, in Miami. In Miami, so. So it's like a it's, coffee liqueur drink. Right? It's an espresso kind of liqueur drink that you have with your dessert. So this is a little pairing. With the dessert. It looks really good and chocolatey. Go ahead wow. and uh, let's go ahead and try it. Let's try it and yeah. see. Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> oh, let me try again. Wow. Is it a it's espresso coffee. Yeah. Very cold and bubbly. You can taste that it yeah, has liquor. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very icy, refreshing. And then the foam on top gives it that espresso look. Yes. That Cuban, you know what's Spain funny? Espresso all your look. drinks had foam today. Yes, all my <laughs> drinks had foam today, but every single one. The first one was salty. Yes. The second one was sweet. And this one? And this one is sweet coffee flavor. There you go. It's amazing. All dangerous <laughs> drinks. You can't go wrong with all these dangerous <laughs> drinks here. Well, guys, I think we've had enough food for one evening. <laughs> oh my God, it was so so good. Wow, what an experience. I've never had an experience like that i mean we've dined at other restaurants and you guys if you guys follow us and are subscribe to our channel yeah we do all kinds of dining experience but this one it was definitely oh my God. it was a magtastic experience it <laughs> felt like we were at getting an experience at victorian albert's and what? we've never been to victorian albert's yeah they have a similar type and of it's a uh similar type of experience. much more expensive <laughs> yeah uh, Victorian Albers have more expensive experience, like Paul said, but mm -hmm. here is $95 per person. Per person, yeah. Uh, you get what they call a Haleo experience with the uh, tasting menu. So mm -hmm. they give you about 14 to 15 items. About 15 items, yeah. It was so many tapas of so many different flavors <laughs> that your our palates were going crazy. So one thing that we did like about this experience that the food was interesting, unique, and it was so much mm -hmm. fun. So much it was, fun different the flavors are all incredible but there's not really one thing because we liked everything yeah everything was excellent the croquetas was excellent for me the roasted potatoes with the aioli sauce was oh my god to die yes. for uh the shrimp was excellent also mm -hmm. even though you know if we cooked the whole shrimp it felt sad <laughs> yeah. so the heads of the shrimp but the shrimp it tasted delicious delicious, delicious delicious um the only thing we didn't have was a paella um we're not big fans of paella but it looked amazing as well. We didn't have it because it wasn't part of the tasting menu, mm -hmm. but it was okay for us because we had a lot of everything else. Yeah. Everything on that flan at the end was a topper for us. Mm -hmm. And before we forget, the most important thing of all from that restaurant was the fantastic or fantastic service from Bebo and from everyone in the restaurant. Yeah, Bebo, you're watching. Bebo. You were an awesome server. Awesome. Excellent service. So remember guys, we do this type of dining experiences all the time. Yes. So that's one of our main goals in our channel to show you all this dining experiences at Disney and not only Disney, but Universal and maybe Florida has to offer. Definitely. Well, with that said, uh, if you did enjoy, enjoy this video and you found it fun and useful, <laughs> remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Well, tonight was a great night. Tonight was definitely a magtastic night. night.
thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next Magtastic Productions. Productions. Bye, Bye guys. guys.